Hello everyone! Today I'd like to share with you one very fun interactive online game that I've played with my students in my synchronous online live sessions. My students really like it because it's really interesting, it's fun and it's competitive. It's called Bamboozle. So one of the reasons why my students really like this game is because of the fun features available such as choosing another team to lose points, giving points to another team, swapping points or even taking away points. So all these are random and automated by Bamboozle. Just a couple of days ago, Bamboozle has updated their feature and it now offers colourful grids and each colour actually indicates a different point value such as um, blue for 10 points, red for 20 points or green for 25 points. Each time you play the game, the colour will change. So therefore, it makes it rather hard for the students to strategize, and it makes the game more fun and challenging. So now I'm going to show you how to create a game in Bamboozle. First, sign up here for free. And once you've done that, you can sign into your account. And here you will have three tabs, My Games, My Likes and Games. So if you go to Games, you can search for any games in the library and these games here are made by other teachers. So for example, if you like to review with your students on past tense, you can just type past tense here and you will have a list of other games that have been created by other teachers. So once you have selected one that you like to review with your students, all you need to do is to click on the heart button. Once you do that, it will appear in your My Likes tab. So you can see the game is already in your My Likes folder. So now let's find out how to make your own game. Click My Games. These are the games that I've created myself and I'm really happy to share that one of my games has been featured by Bamboozle here. So to make a game, click my Make Game and give it a title. Uh, past tense and you can choose an image to upload if you want to that will be your cover you can also write a description of the game and then create by clicking make game so you can put in your questions here now. Example. So after creating the question, you can put in the answer. And then you can decide how many points you like to award for this particular questions. By default, it is set at 15. You can create 5, 10 or 15. In one set of questions, you can have a few different uh, points. You can also choose an image to upload if you want to. Once you're done, click Save. Then you can add more questions if you want to. Once you're done, you will find that your game will appear here in your folder. So when you want to play the game, you click on the game and you click play. So the good thing here is you can choose to play with two teams, three teams or four teams. Say for example four teams and you can choose how many questions you want to have in the game. If I choose 24, I click on 24 and for the options you can choose to have timer on or off and if you want to have the timer on you can actually decide how many seconds you like to give for each question. You can also choose to have the pass button, choose who can answer by turning it on or off. And the colorful grid which I shown earlier is where you have different grid, different colors in the grid to indicate different points. So if you like to have it, you can turn it on. You can also decide what happens to wrong answers given. Do you want students to have no penalty, lose points, or reset the score to zero? So for example, if I put lose points, I click on this. 
Then there are three types of um, methods you can play with the, the student. One is quiz where it's just the normal uh, game where there is a question and the answer. Um, there is also a classic junior which is with simple scoring. The one that my student really like is the question and power-ups with all the different features that I've shown you just now. So once you click on it, your game will start. So here you can actually choose to edit the team's names by clicking on the little pencil here. You can edit as in Team A, um, Team B, C or B. Once you're done, click OK. So then you can have your students from Team A to give you a number. Say for example, A says 2 and you click on 2 and your student will answer the question here with the timer. Once your student has answered the question, you can click check to review the correct answers. If your student gave the correct answer, you would click OK to reward the student's point. And if the student chose the wrong answer, you can click Oops. So if you choose OK, and Team A will get 25 points. So now it's Team B's turn, and Team B will get to choose a number. Say for example, it choose 10. So this is another question for Team B to answer. So once Team B has answered, you can click Check, and if the answer is correct you will put click ok if this answer is wrong you click oops and this is when your team b will get negative 25 points so that's my little tutorial on bamboozle for you i hope it has been useful for you if you really find the tutorial useful please give a thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel thank you for watching goodbye